I think everyone in the world is always looking for their identity. And because our identity changes all the time, depending on what happens in our environment, we are always trying to find out who we are. My name is Dee Tao. I am a 23-year-old media arts and Asian studies student at California State University, Chico. Chico is one of the few cities in California that has a large population of Hmong people. In the spring of 2012, I came to the conclusion that I was slowly losing my cultural heritage, my identity as a Hmong person. With the help of a very supportive professor, I set out on an adventure to retrace that heritage and to search for answers. She was so nervous because she says, but you know, there's a problem. You can't really talk to my dad because he doesn't speak English. I said, D, I'll take care of it, don't worry. We can talk to each other, don't worry. We'll speak in Thai. And she said, I don't know if he speaks Thai or Lao. I said, he does. <laughs> and so that was how we arranged to get this whole project going. Thinking back on that first meeting, I realized how clueless I was about where my parents came from and their journey through the refugee camps of Thailand. It took one professor and a trip to Laos and Thailand for me to realize this. The first time my parents met Professor Waters, who is a sociology professor and the Asian Studies advisor at Chico State, they were able to speak to one another without any language barriers. This surprised me. They spoke a combination of Lao, Thai, and English, and were able to communicate smoothly. My family immigrated to the United States when I was five years old. I was born in a refugee camp in northern Thailand called Ban Vi Nai. My original goal on this trip was to document where and how Hmong refugees lived when they were in Thailand. I forgot that my parents were also refugees. My goal from then on was to document where my parents lived and how they lived before I was born. This was my first time visiting the camps where my parents lived, where I was born, and it was also the first time I visited my uncles and their families in Laos. It became a trip about self-discovery and what it means to be a family. One of my uncles in Laos said that a family is like a tree. A tree is not a true tree unless it has branches. And we are those branches, so we must learn to love and care for one another, no matter how far apart we are. So I'm going to translate for you, for your relatives? Yeah. No. <laughs> Are you afraid to speak Hmong here? Yeah. A little bit. Yeah, they want to do all the sun, they don't know, too. You and Lao Shai Titan. 
Unless you have some kind of connection, there's not much to see. It's just another hillside with a bunch of ruins on it and kind of a weird Hmong temple in the middle. Why would you go to a refugee camp? Uh, when the man at Bombay Nai said that Dee was the youngest one to ever come visit, that was where his surprise was coming from. Mostly he sees older people who are trying to connect, trying to understand their life. They're 70 years old, they're 60 years old, they're 50 years old. They're trying to, they're not fitting in well in America maybe. Why would somebody who fits in well in America come, come back here, I guess? On this journey full of questions, I only found a few answers and discovered many new questions. I am ready to continue searching for answers. Thank you.